everybody. Welcome in to a Friday edition of NASCAR Race Hub. I'm Caitlin Vinci alongside my friends here today, David Reagan, Trevor Bain. Great to see the two of you as always. And guys, we're headed back to a short track this weekend. Richmond Raceway, you guys were just saying you like this one. You like going here. Yeah, you're going to have to be good at all of those tracks, those final 10 races. Yeah, William Byron and company have a lot of momentum in the early goings of this season. Now, last spring, William Byron had a strong showing. He led 117 laps on the day, but it was his Hendrick Motorsports teammate, Kyle Larson, who took the victory. Here's a look back with the race in 90. Trolling that lap time and knows what he's doing. We know he will be wanting to win on his home track there in <laughs> yeah, Virginia. Right. So for more on Denny, we sent Kevin Harvick to sit down with driver 11 at Circuit of the Americas to talk about his season so far, that Bristol win, and what it's been like for Denny being the villain in the cup garage. Here's Kevin with Denny. Places early this year, and we said, hey, the best. Definitely have to keep an eye on Corey Heim. He has been so strong in the truck series as well. So no double duty drivers between Xfinity and Cup because this weekend the top four from Richmond are eligible for the Dash for Cash bonus. That's right. It's time for that. Once again, look at the season as a whole, Trevor. How do you assess where that group is at right now? I think two times in three years isn't too and, bad. And that's pretty good memory. <laughs> I think Kyle oh, could have yeah. made something up and, and Christopher would have probably said, yeah, okay, uh, okay yeah. yeah, just just get on out of here. It'll be interesting to see if this carries over between these two drivers. Now, Christopher. Christopher Bell has already been able to find victory lane this season, so we sent our Josh Sims to sit down with him to talk a wide range of topics for a brand new edition of The Shift. Great interview there with Josh and Christopher. Loved hearing him talk about his wife, Morgan, and the impact she has, of course, on his career. But they were talking about the fact that he feels he hasn't won enough to be in the conversation for a championship. But he's changing that tune because I feel like people do think of him as that guy who could win a championship. Yeah, I do. He's been in the in my pastels. I don't know about the two of you, but I, I'm trying to represent Well, we're going to all best. be here in the morning we're early. We're going to all be here in the morning. Yeah, the three of us. You'll bring us some Easter eggs from your chicken. I, I, right. I'll, I'll try to bring some and, and dye them, and, and bring, we'll cook them. Right. We'll, we'll cook them. All right, for Trevor, David, myself, that does it for us on the edition of NASCAR Race. We'll see you tomorrow morning.